Okay, so hi, I'm Ricky. Uh, I work on the Kiss 100 Breakfast Show with Melvin, Mondays to Fridays at 6 to 9 in the morning, and I'm also a presenter uh, for the news on MTV News as well. He's very good at that as well. Thanks, Mel. No problem, brother. I wanted to be the British Michael Jackson. <laughs> I knew time. you were going to say that. <laughs> well, that's all I, as a kid, all I used to do is just watch Michael Jackson videos and do routines for family parties. Mum would be like, Melvin, come down and do a quick routine for us. I'll get a pound coin at the end. I thought that was good living. So um, I realised I couldn't be the British Michael Jackson because I couldn't really dance and I couldn't really sing. But I knew I wanted to perform. Uh, and my mum's quite strict, so she was like, I want you to go to university. Uh, I understand that you really like doing drama, but why don't you kind of try and merge the two together, which is kind of where, where the media stuff came in. So I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I was kind of split up until I did my GCSEs, whether I was going to go down uh, the sports route, because I was quite good at sports at school. I was into football, basketball, cricket, tennis, like pretty much every sport you can think of. So when I got to like the crossroads of you know moving from school to college, I had to make a decision about whether I was going to you know, take, take the sports route and maybe become a PE teacher or something like that, or a fitness instructor, or go down the media route. It's either do something that I was really, really good at, or do something that I was really, really passionate about. So I decided to go down the passion route because I wanted to love what I did, rather than just doing something just because I thought I was half decent at it. We've known each other since we were 18. Yeah. We're both 28 now, so a good 10 years. We met each other at the start of university, literally the first night that we all moved into our halls of residence. And I saw Melvin and a couple of other a couple of other people across the dance floor and just thought, I'm just gonna go and introduce myself. So I just went across and just went, hi, I'm Ricky, introduced myself, and we've been mates ever since, literally. Yeah. It's interesting, because when I started at uni, like, um, I did like a really theory-based course called Media Practices. Uh, and it's kind of like stuff like introduction to myth and like looking at broadcasting and uh, it was a mining in radio and then I met Ricky and he was doing a similar course called media practice performance. Media performance. Yeah, yeah. and he was like kind of when he kind of learned about my personality and stuff like that he said look why don't you kind of like look into my course it's more practical you get to look at TV you get to look at um, like making your own shows <laughs> for radio and I, was, I thought okay I'll give it a try so it, I kind of switched onto his course and it worked really well it was, I was much better suited to it and it, with the mind in radio I got to kind of like be kind of kind of get in-depth experience in radio and there was a few periods I think that it's, it's really strange for me because uh, I remember being really happy for Ricky, but being quite sad at the same time, because I remember when you was doing work experience, I was thinking, Ricky's meeting all these people in the industry, and he's getting to work at the BBC and Kiss and stuff, and I remember feeling like, like what am I doing? I remember thinking all the time, I used to think to myself, what am I doing? So that time when he called me up and he said, look, there's this like little position to do freelance work, I remember thinking, this is like a massive opportunity for me, and I have to take it, and then we, we got signed, and then met all these people, but no one gave you the chance because they didn't know who you were. Yeah. They didn't really care yeah. who you were. Okay, we need this show. We need two budding guys to do it. Well, we'll just get uh, <laughs> someone else to do it. We'll get Adam Adam Deck. Deck. They're really good. <laughs> they, they've had the experience. So it's like, although you were put in front of all these people, it didn't really mean anything. Mm. I remember thinking, what's the point? Like, how do you get experience without experience? So those are the two low, low points. So again, when Kiss came through and then they were like, we'll give you the opportunity to do weekend breakfast, that was like, okay, cool. When you're kind of still doing your degree and stuff, it feels like a massive mountain that you, you have to climb to kind of reach, you know, your, your dreams. And it didn't really feel like it was possible at the time. It just felt like a, a dream, basically. Um, but as you kind of, if you take it step by step and just take it one step at a time and you, you get there, you get there in the end. Just take it one step at a time, one hurdle, get that bit out of the way, you know, do a bit of work experience, get that out of the way and just keep on progressing. You do actually get there eventually.